When the kids are on this trip, they experience being the presence of God and Christ to other people. That's a powerful thing. It makes me feel like I'm making a difference. Where we come from, success a lot of times is seen as monetary. And the fact is that when you come down here, you see that that is not at all even remotely close to the mark of the successful man. There are things that happen on this trip that simply become part of who we are. One of the women that we worked for when I was on staff had a house that was falling apart and the floors were caving in and right by her front door she had a sign. And I'm even getting emotional thinking about it. She had a sign that said, Jesus will fix it, that was right by her front door and we did. It shows me that God is in all parts of my life even when it's not obvious to me. He is there for everyone and he really supports us and helps us. In the bad times and in the good times, I know that he'll always be there. That's always just really stuck with me, that even with everything bad that had happened to her with the house that she was living in, she still believed. And that's a, a, a spiritual experience that I can't design for them. They have to live into that and experience it, and they do. One of the things that we try to do in our church is to develop that interaction between the young people and, and the, the people working for. Joanna's a woman who lives in our house and she's a 79 year old woman and she is the funniest person I've ever met. I love her. I think she's great. She's just so happy. All of them are special. I love them to pieces. I absolutely, they just, uh oh, they're in there listening. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> a delightful lady. The kids love her. She's very friendly with the kids, uh, beats their pants off playing cards. And she's also a card master. I never knew that there was like such tactic to cards and that you could be so sneaky. You, you know, she's got a good hand. She gets this little smirk on her face. Like, she's got you. She's got you so good. Like I told them, if you play 21, it's playing cards. But if you play blackjack, you're gambling. And we don't gamble. <laughs> These are kids who are living with every kind of privilege back home. And to sit with somebody who has gone through unimaginable hardships and have come out the other side with a sense of tenacious hope and powerful strength, uh, the kids are, are deeply, deeply touched by this. <laughs> Everyone comes back from this trip saying, I want to go back. I want to do it again. There's people going for their, whatever, 20th trip, 30th trip. Service has given me a faith and has allowed me to grow in my relationship with God, so it's not something that's ending when I leave ASP. And what they learn on ASP is not just a, a one-week learning. It's something that becomes part of who they are. It's part of who they are in their 20s. It's part of who they are in their 30s as they raise families and beyond. It's part of what they share with their kids. I've seen it happen. When you make a financial contribution or a financial commitment to ASP, it spreads not only throughout Appalachia, but all over the country. Because volunteers are going to come, they're going to have this experience that, that moves them and shapes their lives, and they're going to take that back home with them. You know, you can serve wherever you are. You don't have to be in Appalachia to, to serve God and to serve the people of your community. The ripple effect doesn't even begin to describe this one. It's more like a tsunami of compassion and care that extends out from this one week. I'll do service for the rest of my life, just because. Thanks, kiddo. One more hug and then we'll go.